What's up, YouTube? It's Honey Bee back here at the Honey Pot with another Daily Buzz. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares. Also, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel. Um, thank you so much to my A1 Day Ones. For those of you that rock with me, I appreciate you guys. Um, what else? Tell a friend to tell a friend, of course. What else? Something else I wanted to mention. I can't remember right now. So let's go ahead and jump right into the reading. I don't know what this reading is going to consist of, but whatever comes up, we're going to talk about it, okay? I saw 4-4 four, four on the screen. Let's see. Maybe talking about speaking to your stability, right? What's the message of spirit? What does my collective need to know? What messages do you have for my collective today? Look, number four, the emperor. Stability coming your way. Structure, authority, practical, solid foundation, stability, leadership, self-mastery, will. And this is all because you put in the work. Like you mastered yourself. Um... You took ownership for your own life. You took leadership in your own life. You had the willpower, the drive to go out and make something happen for yourself. With the number four. Didn't I say there was a 44 on the screen? Speaks to stability. What else, spirit? Right now, you're in your emperor energy. You may be the owner of a company or building your own brand. Or you could have a higher ranking position at... um. I don't know why I heard law firm, but at your job, some of you may be going to school for to become a lawyer. You're structured, the well disciplined, whoever you are. You take you take you take the lead. You're a natural born leader. You were born to lead. You may be an Aries. The Emperor is Aries energy. You could be masculine or feminine, you guys. You know, um these readings are not gender based. We house both masculine and feminine energy within us yeah knight of wands passionate adventure inspired um action inspired action daring driven like yeah you are driven your energy of you're in a fire energy right now knight of wands is also fire energy which is aries leo sagittarius like you're you're making you're making headway in in your life at this time and because this this drive this passion that you um that you're leading with i hear you're leading with passion the drive determination is what is what got you through you could have someone that's coming towards you very passionately as, as well but knight of wands energy y'all know what i say about knight of wands they're night energies they're fly by night but what makes this different in um this reading you guys is the emperor that's standing next to it this is someone coming towards you passionately this person is going to have a lot of love for you um but this person is also going to take you serious right with the emperor energy this person that they not coming to play i heard we not they not coming to play let's not play okay i keep hearing the one like they see you as the one and if you're not dealing with someone this is just your energy like your spirit team like yeah you are the one you're feeling like the man or the woman at this time in your life like people are look knight of cups I can't make this up. This person is coming through to offer you emotional contentment and satisfaction. You're going to be very happy. You're going to have wishes fulfilled, a life of luxury, success, pleasure, abundance, blessings. This person is, is coming in to be a blessing in your life. I feel like you have been this blessing in the lives of so many people up until now. And this is the universe sending someone, someone towards you that's going to be all of those things for you. And if this is not around a rom romantic connection, you guys, this is just you. Like I said, you're having things. And it's because you put in, you put forth the effort. You stayed passionate. You kept your drive. You stayed determined. You st stayed determined to see it all the way through. And now you've reached a level of self-mastery. Um, 
there's a night here night here this is fast energy this is fast approaching so also this abundance this blessings this emotional contentment and satisfaction this happiness is going to be coming in fast for you inspired action this is it, it it's wand a knight of wands is a fast moving energy If this is a partner, y'all, they're going to make you very happy. Listen, um, this is an emperor. Emperor slash empress, male or female. There's plenty of knights in the deck. There's plenty of pages in the deck. There are plenty of kings and queens in the deck. But there's only one emperor, right? One, only one emperor. Only one empress. So for you to be attracting this kind of energy, you actually have to be sitting in this energy. So if you're a female attracting an emperor, this is because you're an empress energy. And if you're, uh, um, you're a man watching this, a masculine energy, an actual man, then this is someone coming in towards you too. Yeah, because you're moving away, releasing baggage, moving on to calmer waters. Um, you're transitioning to a new phase in your life. I heard what's, what once was will no longer be. High Priestess. For some of you, you are High Priestess. You have um, a deeper inner, inner knowing. You have... Um, you can see people's secrets like you're a seer. You also have this mysterious type of energy about you. I feel like you're using your intuition, your discernment when it comes to this person. You have access to hidden knowledge, secret wisdom. For a lot of you, you see things in your dreams. You get messages in your dreams. You're very mysterious energy, whatever this is. But I feel like this, this high priestess energy, you tapping into this high priestess and emperor energy. For some of you, some of you, you may be, uh, you may own a spiritual business. You may be in a spiritual realm, in a spiritual business. Like you may have a platform. You may read tarot. You may have a spiritual shop. Um, this could be an actual physical location or this could be like an Etsy shop or you just selling your selling your goods, your divine goods on line somewhere. But being in that energy, y'all staying passionate towards that, like to out here keep going, that's gonna is gonna you're gonna be it's gonna make you a lot of money. Abundance. And I I hear it's just by using your intuition, following your intuition, using your gifts, right? Whether you're, you have a spiritual business or not, you have a heightened intuition, whoever this is resonating for. Yeah, look, Queen of Pentacles. I cannot make this up. Practical, motherly, grounded, down-to-earth, generous, caring, good business sense, responsible, right? Oh, this is good. What else, spirit? Ace of Wands, new adventures, creative spark, potential, desire, new passion, willpower, inspiration attraction like you are in this high priestess queen of pentacles emperor energy and you're attracting like beings like i said if you are a man or a woman you're you're sitting in this energy this is why you're attracting a uh, like energy right like attracts like you also are using your creativity at this time like i said using your intuition you're putting forth all your creative ideas whatever it is you can think about you can bring about so you're putting forth efforts to make sure your dreams come true Again, with the Ace of Wands, with the Knight of Wands, this is a this is a creative project, something that you're passionate about. Don't let anyone knock you off your throne. I don't know why I'm getting that message. Like it's okay if if people don't understand your calling. Like they're not supposed. Uh, everybody isn't supposed to understand your calling, you guys. Like when the universe, God, divine, gives you a purpose. It's just you and source like no not everyone has to understand your calling because it wasn't a conference call right it was only for you and source spirit the divine to hear you had like I said you have access to the unknown you have secret wisdom you have a, you have access to things that most people don't Whatever you're thinking about creating, creating something new, please do so. Six of Cups energy. 
reconciliation, old friends, kindness, nostalgia, past returns, past influences, yearning, sharing. So this person that you're attracting at this time, this could be someone that you've known from childhood. This could be a past life soulmate. With the Six of Cups energy, past life soulmate or higher level soulmate this year. There could also be someone that's thinking about thinking about wanting to reconcile with you. Doesn't have to be. You know, if you know you don't want anyone back from the turn from the past, don't take them back because it does say past returns and yearning. So I feel like this is someone that's thinking about coming towards you and making an offer. Like this person wants to come in quickly and be the emperor in your life. But I don't feel like this person is capable of doing that. Yeah, look, judgment. This person, someone has an, had an awakening. This could be you. A renewal. This person had an awakening. You have a renewal. Change is coming. Like I said, inner calling. Didn't I just talk about that calling? Like spirit has called you to called you into purpose. They have called you to be of service. You are to be of service, right? Reflection, healing, second chance, wake up call. I keep hearing that like what what once was will no longer be. So if you you had struggles, clearly you had struggles in the past, that will no longer be. You get a second chance because you did the healing work. You went in, you did introspection. Um, yeah, you closed out cycles. Thank you, Spirit. You closed out cycles. Could be with this past energy over here. And you laid down a burden, right? You are patient in doing so. You waited your turn. I hear I, they, you waited your turn. You waited and you were very patient. And now that you have done the work and you have laid down those burdens, you've put the, those burdens to rest. I hear this is the final push. Look, temperance, balance is coming into your life. I can't make it up. Balance, patience, purpose. I, we, I just talked about this purpose. Like you stepped into your purpose. You, you, I feel like you stepped away from the worldly things. With this Ten of Wands energy in this world, you stepped away from the worldly things. The worldly things are um, how people see you, what people think of you. Like I said, don't let nobody deter you from, from your journey, right? Like everyone wasn't supposed to hear you're calling it wasn't a conference call you made the decision to go within to reflect and c cancel the world out like it doesn't matter what you know like it doesn't matter what people have to say this is who you are this is what you've been called to do and i feel like you finally stepped into your divine calling your inner calling it says inner calling here where was purpose didn't i see purpose somewhere yeah right here purpose self-control alchemy harmony blending you're coming you're coming into your own like you you're coming into your own you're stepping into your divine self yeah and this is, is going to lead you to victory victory and success public recognition fame for some of you like i said you may have a platform uh victory progress good news rewards popularity and praise like people are going to be noticing you right with this emperor energy like emperor is equivalent to empress which she is um abundant right she's creative she is fertile she gives birth to new ideas you could be a mother you could be pregnant doesn't have to be you know if you can't have kids or you don't want any more kids the empress energy is just the birth of something new you also have the ace of wands here which is a new creative idea and it's going to lead you right into success the ten of cups is here satisfaction marriage Harmony, blessings, good fortune, success, happy family, security, stability. That's this first card out. This four, this four, this emperor energy. I said this speaks to stability, right? What else, spirit? What other cards? What else? What else? What else should I pull? Hmm. I don't know what other cards to use. Um, let's keep going with these. Yeah, look, justice, truth, cause and effect, accountability, law, balance, fairness, consequences. Because you put out all of this good, this passionate, you were passionate in your endeavors. You waited your turn is what I heard. Now you're going to, you're going to be receiving balance. Like the, the scales are being balanced throughout your life and if this is someone like from the past like this person had has had a rude awakening they've lost everything 
they've lost everything their life right now is a is at a burden but this person is also going through a lesson this this person is learning about balance you have to be fair in your connections right with this justice card so this person may be receiving karma you both at this time are receiving karma if this this is someone from the past this person is receiving karma also um but you know like you got to be careful what you're putting out into the universe you guys because whatever you put out into the universe is what they'll send you back right it's like a boomerang effect so you put out all this good energy and now you're being rewarded for that you have the nine of cups ten of cups the emperor six of wands um you have temperance but this person i feel like they weren't they weren't fair they didn't always do the right things and now this person is being faced with hardships and that's their karma so karma doesn't always have to be bad you know we think look ten of swords this person lived a life of betrayal they backstabbed people you were backstabbed for a long time you could have been backstabbed by people betrayed you've hit rock bottom and now this is where this person is this person is right now they're going through endings they're having bad luck they're in a they're in a crisis this person is in a crisis but this is the energy that they left you in they backstabbed you and betrayed you they caused you pain like they left you at the bottom like you were always on their, their last on their list of things to do you have two tens here this person has two tens here the ten of swords and the ten of wands that's hitting rock bottom this person can't do anything right now but pray they're doing some serious pr praying they're doing some serious praying Like, please help me get my life back on tr on track. Like, you know, like, oh, universe, oh, God, oh, source, please make it stop. Like, yeah. But I feel like this person is going to go, this, they're going to sit in this energy for a long time, right? With the seven of pentacles. Because this is what they invested. Like I said, this is what they put out into the universe. This was their investment to the universe. So this is what the, they get to, they get to reap this from the universe, right? Yeah, and you're in rest and recuperation. Spirit has this person in a timeout. Look, look, I just said prayer. They're meditating, solitude, contemplation, healing. This person is overwhelmed with life right now with this Ten of Wands energy. This person is burdened. It's burden after burden after burden. Like, nothing is going right for this person. They can't think straight. This person cannot think straight. Let me go into this deck, and then I'll wrap up this reading, y'all. Oh, control. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. And this person is trying to control. They're trying to control their thoughts. They're trying to control their emotions. For a lot of you, this person was controlling in a connection. They wanted to control how this situation unfolded, right? But I feel like this is you right now with this emperor energy and this control. You're in, you're in full control. You, you have full total control over your life. In this situation and it was simply because you decided to walk away walk away and this is how you called your energy back right you shifted the control dynamic in this connection with this past person and now they're overthinking right overthinking i'm is i'm driving myself crazy thoughts of you keep consuming me like i said they this person cannot get out of their head to save their life and it's all because you let them go you've let this person go they feel like they have let you go And at one point, like this person, they gave off the impression that they didn't care if you stayed or go or went. Like, yeah, telepathic. This person is trying to, like I said, they're talking to, they're talking to God. They're talking to source about you. This person may also try to send you telepathic messages. Four of Swords is, um, is also an energy of resting. So when this person rests and lay down at night or when they're in meditation this person may be trying to manifest manifest you back look with unsent text messages this person may be trying to manifest you contacting them it says i've written you several texts but in the end i chicken out yeah this person don't feel like you would want a new a new start a new go with them They feel like there's competition. And as I'm saying, like overthinking because they feel like you've let them go. But this person also feels like you have moved on to a newer connection. And um, there they would be correct. Like I said, this emperor energy, someone that's coming in that's not going to play about you. This ten of cups, six of wands. Like you're about to get justice, ten of pentacles energy. And they're really jealous. 
this person is jealous it says i get jealous when i think of anyone else having you and stealing you away from me but i don't feel like no one stole stole you away from this person i feel like this person um they they forfeited they forfeited they forfeited they gave up their own chance this person gave up they gave up before the game even started or you left the game like you didn't want to play the game with this person like there's no I in team and I feel like this person it was always about I I I I I this is a selfish energy not this person like I, they are stalking they're stalking I often check your social media to see what you're up to to see what you're up to who, who you're talking to like this person keeps a close eye on you guys whether you know it or not and you would probably think oh this person no nah, they can't be they're not watching me like this person is not going through this but oh but they are this person has a good poker face um sore sores you may be dealing with an air sign doesn't have to be you guys there's fire energy here there's pinnacle energy this could be anyone and also with this high priestess energy like i say you may be spiritual you have access to uh secret wisdom and this person is trying to telepathically communicate with you so this person may also be spiritual as well but i feel like this person may have mocked you in the beginning for who you are for you being the way you are right for the gifts that you have this person may have mocked you and made fun of you they for a lot of you they could have talked down on you to people around them like i hear making trying to make people think that you were crazy oh wow but now they're seeing just who you are and they're they're owing you an apology i'm sorry for disappointing you will you accept my apology so this person knows that they need to come through and apologize. But I feel like this person doesn't want to come through and open up that can of worms. Yeah, look. They feel like you're their true love. This person doesn't want to come through and open up that can of worms. Because what if you don't accept the apology, right? I feel like at this point, you don't even want the apology. I feel like you've healed without it. Like some, you know, like the closure... The disrespect be the closure, you guys. Like, you know, it's you know, we all want to be told I'm sorry or, you know, want someone to take accountability. But that's not always necessary, you know? Like, you can move forward in your life. Forgive yourself for allowing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, forgive this person because... I'm not going to say they didn't know what they were doing because we're all grown. We all know what it is that we're doing, 22, 22, as I'm saying this. But some people aren't at the level where they can, you know, like... Some people don't want to admit that they're wrong. For some people, something as simple as saying I'm sorry, it um, signifies defeat. Like, oh, I'm wrong or I wasn't perfect at that time. Like, And this may be a person that lives in their ego. This person may feel like, oh, like I could do no wrong. Or this is what they've been led to believe all this time. Like they can do no wrong. They've been getting away with not apologizing and uh, not accepting accountability for the crap that they do erased i deleted everything that reminded me of you like this person may be a little childish too like oh if you don't talk to me if i can control this then you know the hell on you f you like this person tried to delete and get rid of you but they still they're still stalking because they're upset this person had they don't know how to properly communicate their emotions like you know instead of just saying how they feel apologize this person will try to make you to blame like this person everybody's at fault but them so like oh i'm mad yeah i hurt you but now you are taking your power back so now i'm hurt so now you're the bad guy so for to try to get back at you this person tried to they try to erase you from <clears throat> oh i'm sorry their phone their memory but it's not happening because look self-pleasure and they saying they, that they erased it but it's also saying self-pleasure i pleasure myself to your pictures i have secretly saved in my phone so yeah they didn't delete shit <laughs> what else pushing buttons i do things to trigger you is the only way i know you care and like i said this person has a toxic they have toxic love traits because instead of just they don't know how to properly communicate so they'll do things like trigger you or try to test you to see if you care i'll see you on the next video bye